11 unidentified flying objects over the skies of southern Campeche state. The pilots were flying at an altitude of about 3,500 meters when they were filming the UFOs. Only three of the objects shown up on the plane's radar before disappearing. The Defense Department spokesperson confirmed that the video was taken by Mexican Air Force, but denied further comment. On May 24, 2003, videographer Jeff Willis captured a dome-like saucer on its side as it flew in close to his home. The footage has been analyzed, and the government itself has been involved, but no solid explanation has been found. Captures what is supposedly a UFO crashing over Santa Barbara. The strangest part is that while the UFO falls, an orb-like figure flies out straight up into the sky before disappearing. Ken reported that he was driving home when the UFO caught his attention. He didn't hear any sound coming from it, nor did he hear a crash. Only broke. The satellite drifts 100 miles away and seemingly attracts some company. Skeptics claim that the UFO can be anything from nearby comets or space debris. Some even believe that it's all just underwater footage. The same astronaut team captures a circle of what appears to be UFOs, and then one glowing in the center. As these UFOs reach their positions in the circle, they light up, showing incredible intelligence. There we see a UFO light up right in the middle of the circle. This shows intelligence. What is the real thing? Where the hell did it go? It's gone, man. It's gone. The Yeni Kent Sighting In 2008, a guard from Yeni Kent recorded a series of lights and an apparent alien aircraft in disguise for four months. His videos have been called one of the best known UFO footage out there and has been yet to be proven a hoax. Some theorists, due to this evidence, believe that alien lifeforms could actually be just out of eye's view, monitoring us from afar. 